Hi everyone, welcome to another video on CompTIA Network Plus exam question and answer series. In today's video, we will study the network topology and its types. So let's get started. The question number one is that a network topology in which each node has a direct physical connection to every other node is called and the options are star, bus, mesh and ring. And the correct answer is mesh. So in a mesh, every node has a direct connection to every other node and uh, let's suppose if we want to draw a, an example of a mesh topology let me draw four nodes let uh, let's suppose these are nodes so every node has a direct physical connection to every other node so this is an example of a mesh topology question number two is that which type of network topology provides the highest level of redundancy and the options are ring mesh bus and star and the correct answer is mesh so again since in the mesh every node is connected to every other node so the level of redundancy is high and since the number of connections are high so the mesh is the correct answer question number three is that a network topology where each node connects to a central switching device is known as we have to select two answers and the options are hub and spoke, bus, ring, star and mesh. And the correct answers are hub and spoke and star. So this topology looks just like this. Let's suppose this is a hub. We can call this a hub or a switch. And the nodes are connected like this. In the fashion of a star so this topology is known as a star or a hub and a spoke question number four is that which of the following network topologies is most commonly used in contemporary Ethernet lanes and the options are bus topology star topology, ring topology, and mesh topology. And the correct answer is the ring topology. So nowadays, the nodes or hosts are typically connected to a switch in the form of a ring. That's about this is a switch and all the nodes are connected to this in the form of a ring so the, uh, in the form of a star sorry so the star is the most used topology uh, that is available or used in the contemporary world or in uh, nowadays next question is that a type of network topology that combines two or more differing standard network topology is referred to as a hybrid topology uh, and we have two options whether this statement is true or false and the correct answer is yes true when two network topology are connected this topology is then the network is known as a hybrid network question number six is that which of the following answers can be used to describe a client server architecture and we have to select three answer and the options are less stable and secure than peer-to-peer -peer architecture, more reliable than peer-to-peer -peer architecture, decentralized network types. Each network node can at the same time serve and request resources, more stable and secure than peer-to-peer -peer architecture, centralized network types, and less reliable than peer-to-peer -peer architecture. In the correct three options are that it is more stable and secure and uh, the next it is uh, the next correct option is that it is a centralized network since we have a server let's suppose this is a server and then there are many 
clients. So the services are offered in a centralized manner on a centralized server. That's why it is called as centralized network type. And the last correct option is that it is less reliable than peer-to-peer -peer architecture. Uh, it is less reliable because if the server goes down, then the whole network for the clients goes down. While in peer-to-peer -peer architecture, the client communicate with each other. Let's suppose we have three client. And they communicate with each other. Now, if any one client goes down, again, the two, these two clients can still communicate with each other. That's why this peer-to-peer uh, -peer architecture is more reliable than server-centric architecture. Or we can say that this uh, client-server architecture is less reliable than peer-to-peer -peer architecture. Question number seven is that a type of network connecting computers within a small geographical area such as a building or group of building is called and the options are PAN, personal area network, LAN, local area network, MAN, metropo metropolitan net area network and WAN, wired area network. And the correct option is LAN. So LAN is a network that is limited to a geographical area such as a building, a home, or a, an office. The question number eight is that a computer network connecting multiple lanes over, a, or, over an area of a city is known as, again the options are PAN, SAN, SAN stands for storage area network, MAN, and CAN. And the correct option is MAN. So, when the network spans over a city, this is then called as the MAN or Metropolitan Area Network. Question number nine is that a computer network connecting multiple smaller networks over a very large geographical area is known as, and the options are again PAN, Wireless LAN, MAN, and WAN. And the correct answer is the WAN. So the WAN is a connection of multiple lands. Let's suppose this is a land. Here we have another land. And let's suppose here we have another land. Then connecting these network, and th this may be, let's suppose, in different cities or the lands may be in different cities or even in different countries. And this network is then called as wide area network internet is the most popular and the most uh, large example of van and internet as we know that it contains of smaller lands such as right now i am using the land in my uh, at my home and i am communicating with the van uh, using the internet Question number 10 is that internet is an example of a large public van and the options are true and false and the correct option is yes. This statement is true. The internet is an example of the largest public van. So internet is largest public van. Question number 11 is that a type of network consisting of computers and peripheral devices that use high frequency radio waves to communicate with each other. So the high frequency radio waves means that it is talking about a wireless network and the options are MAN, WAN, WLAN, LAN and VLAN. And the correct answer is WLAN or wireless local area network. Question number 12 is that a type of limited range computer network used for data transmission among various type of personal devices is referred to as and the options are PAN, LAN, SAN and MAN and the correct option is MAN or personal area network. So the Bluetooth is an example of a PAN where we uh, connect our Bluetooth device or our smartphone to a laptop 
through a pan or personal area network and it is typically limited to uh, a range of below 100 meter the question number 13 is that a dedicated local network consisting of device providing data access is called and the options are SDN software uh, defined network NAS network attached storage iSCSI and SAN storage area network and the correct option is SAN or storage area network so SAN is a type of network let's suppose we have a storage and this storage contains data and then we have let's suppose nodes or servers that access that data uh, that is stored in the storage and this network is called as SAN storage area network so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed you people have enjoyed the video so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video thank you